today in Singapore, uh, in Little India, at the Banana Leaf Apollo restaurant, and fellow travel blogger Seth Miller, who writes uh, Wandering Aramean, which is hosted on Boarding Area. He's also famous on Flyer Talk. How many posts now? 50, 60? 56,000, I think, something like that. SBM12 is his name on Flyer Talk. So. He ended up being in Singapore at the same time, so I figured we'd, we'd catch up and do a little chat. So you actually just took the Singapore Airlines flight. What, what were your thoughts? Um, 19 hours in the air is a very, very long time. And, <laughs> you know, the good news is, you know, it's all business class. It's easy in that regard. The food was great. The people working there were great. There's something about being called Mr. Miller nonstop from the minute oh, yeah. you walk on until the minute you leave. The Hershey kiss when you get on the plane. Right. Did they have the... Yeah. You know, the, the flight attendants actually genuinely seem to care and enjoy the experience. So that made it uh, really, really nice. That said, it's still 19 hours. Yeah. Um, so it's about the most comfortable you can be for that long on an airplane, but it's still a really long time. Cool. Seth, I think one of the things, you're, you're, I, I would call you the most ardent continental united uh, of all the bloggers out there. So what are your overall thought, thoughts on the merger? You know, just two weeks ago, they transitioned all the accounts. It's been a zoo. Um, how do you think they've handled it so far, and what do you think of the combined program? Um, a lot of good questions there. So I think the first answer that's easy is I think that it's exactly what I would have expected from a merged company. Um, good stuff, bad stuff, obviously, is going to happen with that, but reduce competition with the merger and such, and you're going to get, uh, get that sort of result. Beyond that, it's hard for me to say that they completely screwed up uh, with the PSS migration. They certainly didn't knock it, you know, knock it out of the park as a home run with everything being perfect. Yeah. But man, they had some trouble posting miles for a couple of, for a week or so. Um, that's mostly resolved now, I think. Uh, mine are at least posting right, so I'm, I'm I'm cool with it. Yeah. Um, but you know, I think a little better communication probably wouldn't have hurt them. But I also don't think that they're in a situation where they've really dropped the ball nearly as badly as some of the more vocal critics yeah. are claiming. I think, you know, at the end of the day, almost every flight's going out. Um, the ones that aren't going out aren't because they had yeah. excess integration issues, so they're not going out for other reasons. Have you had to call the the 1K line? Or actually, I, do you call yourself a 1K now? Uh, no, I have global services. A global service? Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> have you actually been able to get through an agent when you yeah. need to? Um, I've made a few calls in. I've gotten through. I have waited on hold, yeah. believe it or not. And, you know, it's, I remind them that's inappropriate when they answer the phone. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Uh, but no, I've, yeah, I've waited on hold for a few minutes here and there. Um, I certainly didn't have any pressing needs the first few days. Um, I've had the typical issues of agents who don't know the rules of the new program, and yeah. I do, and so it's, are you sure about that? Can we check this written thing, da da da, and have them double check it? And eventually, someone gets a supervisor and the work gets done. Yeah. Um, do you, you know, I think that that's gonna, that's what's bound to happen, and it's getting better. Yeah. Do you think that the new mileage plus without the space in between is a better, have they really taken the best aspects of both programs? No. 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 That's, that's an easy one because they're, they're taking good things from both programs, certainly. They've taken bad things from both yeah. programs. Um, and one of the most disappointing things right now is there's still big chunks of it, kind of big chunks, but chunks of it that we don't actually know what the policies are. Yeah. Um, for example, if you're flying on South African Airways, no one can actually tell you what the earning rate is <laughs> right now. Um, there's something published on their website. I'm willing to bet good it's money wrong. that it's wrong. It's like super generous, right? It's or, yeah. obscenely generous. Um, and they've never Come on, I'm expecting you to, to test it out to the limits. Why don't you do like 10 back and forth? Yeah, to just in yeah. case. Well, you know, that's one of those things that at this point, if someone's doing that, print off the bit page as it exists right now. If they don't honor it, the you know, DOT would be happy right. to hit them with a false advertising claim. But, um, you know, it's one of those, to me, that's one of those things that they've known for months that yeah. this was coming. The partner earning rates shouldn't have been that hard to figure out um, and publish accurately. I agree. So, yeah. They're working on it, they say, but it's a little silly to me. Well, speaking of false advertising claims, I think you're, you also were known for British Airways ran these ridiculously, well, not even ridiculously well, low fares to India. Yeah. They ended up rescinding them, and yeah. you took them to court and won. So what can you tell us about that experience? I know a lot of people were rooting for you. Yeah, minor clarification, we settled. You settled, okay. Um, uh, for a few reasons. Mostly because I was pretty sure I wouldn't have actually won the case. Okay. Um, no, what I learned there uh, was that, generally speaking, I know Know that the consumer has no rights when it comes to dealing with the airlines, and so the only thing you can really do is hope for the best. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going. Yeah. This, this is the way we roll. Uh, okay. 
All right. Thank you. Um, Anything nice? Um, yeah. Some biryani, biryani ice. Of um, <laughs> so do you recommend people, if there's a mistake fair, the air, do you recommend you know, no. pursuing? No. No. Um, and the fact that I, I mostly did it because I was bored, not because <laughs> I actually thought they owed me anything. Yeah. Um, Are you allowed to discuss how you settled or did you? Yeah. I, uh, I would assume so. I don't know. I have an NDA. It's been a while now. Yeah. Um, they originally offered a $300 credit for any future fare to India that had to be booked within like a two-week window. Okay. Um, we settled on a $300 credit that could be used for a year on any ticket. So same dollar amount was actually usable as opposed to when they just jacked all their prices up and then said, you know, here you can have a 300 discount on these obscenely high prices. So you didn't get a $100,000 payday from British yeah, Airways? It was not, I mean, <laughs> it paid for me and my right. wife because we had two tickets. It paid for us to do something else in uh, the United Kingdom the following summer cool. instead of going to India, but um, and it paid for a part of that trip, not the whole thing. But you know, did I do the right thing or the wrong thing? Hard for me to say. Um, you know, I certainly don't think that they were necessarily right or wrong. Uh, but I think the way they handled it was bad, and I figured I'd see if I could push it a little bit. Push it a little bit. I like that. So let's let's wrap up here because our food will be here shortly. So qu real quickly, so what is wandering Aramean? What exactly? It's a bad joke from the Old Testament, uh, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, there's a line in the story of the Exodus, and my father was a wandering Aramean, and he went down to Egypt. Um, and we, uh, I was sitting at a Passover Seder and had had my four glasses of wine and then some, and thought that it sounded really funny. And it's like wandering, yeah, like traveling, wandering. And so I went home and registered the domain name, and next thing you know, here I am. <laughs> that was five years ago now. So you've been blogging for a while. So Seth, <laughs> let's... Yeah, thank you. You've, you've built some really cool travel tools that I think I want to advertise. I think more people to okay. know about them. They're free. Can yeah. you just tell us briefly like what they are and why, how they can benefit people? Yeah. So it's Wandering Airman Travel Tools, not particularly original as a name, but the general idea is being able to find fare information and inventory information um, to help better have a chance of actually being able to find a cheap flight, a good flight, an award flight, things like that. And so it's not 100% perfect. Um, it doesn't have 100% um, of all the stuff that you know I'd love to see. Yeah, sure. So what? So you can find award availability on a number of airlines. I know I used it once for Vietnam Airlines. What are your? What do you think the best features are? Thank you. Um, the award availability part of it is actually arguably its most limited chunk, and part of that is because there are so many other tools out there. There's Award Nexus, there's a half dozen other not. But yours are free. Mine are free, um, but I'm also one of the few people who's not gone out of his way to make a Star Alliance yeah. tool that reads the ANA site, the Continental site, or the Aeroplan site, yeah. and republishes that data. Um, I'm sorry, what's Continental? Oh, right, the United Site. Yeah, let's be clear. Right. The United Site is the Continental Site. <laughs> um, but there were enough other people doing that that it didn't seem worth my time. Yeah. There was no one doing things like Vietnam Airlines or the Korean or some of those other ones. Yeah. So the Korean is now a little bit harder. Back, right? But and so given the opportunity to do some of those, it was pretty easy. And why the hell not? Um, it's basically been my attitude about it. And you know, I've, there's been a lot of people that are looking for things like the queue up and the H up fares from American or yeah. United. Um, I've decided, and those went away from the normal resources, I found a way to get them back. And so I'm publishing that stuff cool. again. So um, so people can just Google, is there an easy website or just Google Wandering Aramaic? www.wandr.me. Dot me, okay. Wander.me, but the E was taken, so. Okay, cool. Well, we'll post um, that on the Google site. It, to, but, or Google um, it, yeah. You'll find me. All right, cool. Awesome. Well, let's, well, let's see. Thanks a yeah. lot. Cheers.